check it out you guys I'm harvesting apricots this morning and I've been doing this the last three days and I've gotten tons of apricots so two days ago I harvested in between 40 and 50 yesterday I harvested about I'd say 20 and today you can see the harvest is definitely coming to an end here but what tends to happen is you end up with way more apricots than you can possibly eat if you're just eating them fresh and so we've been eating these every morning but can't keep up with them so what I'm doing is I'm trying to find ways to preserve these and so what I've done is I've made some jam and I think I'm gonna take a bunch of these I've got about 20 or so and I'm gonna try drying them I've never done that before but I just want to kind of see how that turns out so you see this guy here so today two, four, six, seven, seven apricots and there's probably about 10 or so left on the tree you can see down here so if you get one of these trees one of the problems that you'll have is trying to keep up with eating them all which is exactly the kind of problem you want to have when you're uh, growing these trees so let me take these inside and I'm gonna I'm gonna start this drying process which is new to me as far as apricots go last year I froze a bunch and then my freezer went out so I lost a whole bunch of my harvest Let's see how these guys are these can stay on here another day or two all right let me go inside and I'll show you what I'm doing so this is what I've been doing. I've been making this jam and I uh, haven't tried it yet because we just made it two days ago. So I'll probably, probably be trying it here in the next day or two, but I'm sure it's delicious, you know. And then uh, here's what I have. So all I did was I cut them in half, took the pit out. Now I broke them and you can get a cleaner look if you want by using a knife, but I don't particularly care. So I'm going to put them in my dryer rack here and let's see how this turns out. Oops. These, uh, I have a feeling they're going to be delicious. Probably a lot better than the stuff that you buy at the store. So let me finish this up. So all I'm going to do is put these on. I don't know how long yet. I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on them and see how they do and then um, I'll rotate them if they need to be rotated these trays you can move from the bottom to the top and and that sort of thing um, and then I'll show you what they look like when we're all done I'm excited to try these okay so here they are I ended up drying them for probably about um, I'd say close to 30 hours in total so this is what they look like they don't look they don't look awesome. They don't look all that appetizing. But I'm gonna give I'm gonna give one a try here. I'll go with a smaller one, so that's pretty good. I like it. It's um a little bit on the sour side, but it tastes pretty good. I think this is a decent way to, to preserve some. Now, if you have the choice, I think, well, first of all, eat as many fresh as you can because they're so good, but they don't last on the counter very long. So you have to kind of, you got to figure something out. And so this, uh, this jam is just delicious. So if you get a good jam recipe, do that. This is good for some of the leftovers. And uh, I, I'm definitely, I will do this again next year, especially if I have a big harvest, you know, and I can't eat them all, so. Anyway guys, I just want to share with you some of the some of the problems you have when you have an apricot tree and it produces more fruit than you can eat. <laughs> so like I said, that's a good problem to have. But um, here's just another another way to save some of your harvest. Alright guys, thanks for watching.